Hello, this is Fighting Irish, Operation Torchlight. We are now in July of 1942. A lot of big things have been happening all around the world. Japan took a beating. Germany taking a beating. Um, let's do some tech rolls before we get into anything. Let's do, let's see what we have. Heavy armor. Heavy bombers, Satyr rockets, and improved construction. Let's do those. Let's do heavy bar arm, uh, heavy armors. See if we can match the Germans. We do not. Let's do heavy bombers. Got a seven. We needed a nine. Let's do Satyr rockets. We got a ten, so we completed the rock. And improved construction. We got a nine, so we improved construction. I don't know what yet we're going to buy with our construction, but let's go with some purchases. Okay, right here we have two cavalry for six. Down here we got two infantry and artillery, two cavalry, two katushas, and a tank. All equal 32 IPP, 38 total right there. One fighter, one advanced artillery, one upgrade from an infantry to a motorized infantry, equal 15. We're going to build a railroad. We're going to get three militia. We're going to upgrade a militia to an infantry. We're going to lend lease our CC friends, CCP friends to IPP. They are going to buy an AA gun and an artillery. Okay, let's do some combat. We love combating the um, Japanese. I see that they have a problem. That's going to get fixed later. But right now, our sub is going to convoy C-Zone 89. And let's do some combat. I took the whole chart from the Japanese, or no, the Germans, from Romania. Put it on the chart. This is what they have. They have a air transport that's not gonna do anything. They have four infantry, a medium bomber, a tactical, a tank and five planes. Right now, I took the stack from southern Ukraine. That's three tanks, two Katushas, one infantry paired with the uh, advanced artillery. I guess I get two more. I can move up to up here because of the Katushas. That would leave the two from behind. So those are twos, those are ones. Let's see what else do we want to bring into this. These two tanks from Eastern Ukraine want to join the battle. So that's five tanks. This motorized is driving in there with telling the uh, AA gun that does not get the penalty, I believe. For the mountain. We're bringing in two more cavalry. Um, they have attack at twos. And let's bring some planes. We have two or five of them tactical and four fighters coming from eastern. Ukraine, one, two, and they have plenty of movement. One fighter from Moscow going one, two, three, four, and I have two movements left. If they survive. I'm hoping that they do. I don't want to lose. If they go down, taking uh, some of those fighters with them, that's what it has to be. Let's see some more combat. Okay, taking from this card here, one infantry from Lebowski, 
or walk into eastern Poland. Claiming that for the Russians. Okay. That's just a walk in. So Russia goes to 52 and Germany goes to 41. Okay. Calvary from Kiev is going to walk, walk, take Eastern Poland. That's just a walk in. So we claim that. Okay. Russia goes up to 53, Germany to 40. Okay. Um, we're taking our last two infantry. We're going to invade East Prussia from Lebowski. They get two shots at us. I'm hoping they don't get it. So, um, I pretty much don't have any more attacks. So, let's do that. Let's see what we get on the Japanese raid line. Um, yeah, let's do that. I think everything else is non-combat, so... Red, of course, is the uh, Russians. Black is the Japanese. We get a plus two. And we're even, so they get nothing. Okay, that's all right. Let's do um, East Prussia. Here's the first strike, two fives. They hit one, they lose one infantry. They get to keep. This comes off, this comes off. The fortifications out of there. Eastern Prussia falls to the Russians. And that is worth another dollar or an IPP. So that's 54 and 39. Okay. Let's see what else we have left. So that one's taken care of, care of, care of. Ooh, we have the big one, okay. Let's see, two, he does not have first strike. He does have a lot of planes and four infantry looks like, okay. Here are my Katushas. They attack at five, but we're in mountains, so they are at four first strike. Miss, miss, and we have an attack or advance artillery. It's at a three. Oh, I like the sevens, not really. Here's the tactical. Oh, this is not going well. One, two, three, four, five fighters. All at six. One, two. So I'm assuming the medium bomber and the tactical will be eliminated. Okay. Whoa, almost lost it. Okay. And let's do five tanks. Five at five. I got one, two. So two infantry will go down. Okay. Um, I have three AA guns. Ooh, got two. So two fighters will go down. The AA comes in clutch again. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five at two. Nothing at two. And one, two, three, four at four, uh, one. Yeah, there were one. Uh, two motor and two infantry. 
and nothing hit there. So you will have two infantry, one tank, and three fighters left. Okay, let's see. Five fighters. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what he gets for his fighters. One, two, three. So I will lose three fighters. Okay. Is uh, tactical at five. Target select. He will take a tank. That's gone. And his tank at five. He got another one, so I lose an infantry. And one, two, three, four, five. Five at four. And he got one, so I lose my other infantry. No, I will lose my AA. Okay. So, my three fighters are gone. Tink is gone. AA is gone. His two planes. His tactical. Medium bomber and two infantry. Okay, let's go round two. So I have one tactical. Hit a three target select, so the tank will be going down. Okay, two planes. Miss, miss. Uh, four tanks. So I got one, two. His infantry are going down. Okay. Uh, two Katushas. Miss, miss. One advance artillery. Hit on the artillery, so that's a plane. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. At two, All right? One, two. Yep, still five at two. Got nothing. Those don't want to hit nothing. And then three at one. Nothing there. So he will have two fighters going to the next round. Let's do three planes. Or his three fighters left. He got one, and I'll lose another infantry. Okay, one tank. Hit on the tank, so I'll lose a motorize. Yeah, might as well. No, I'll lose an infantry, but move the motorize up. Um. And he has two fours. And he missed, miss. Okay, so I'll lose my two casualties. And he'll lose his one, two, three, four casualties. So I need two hits out of the remaining. Here is the tactical. That is a six. So that's one hit. And I have two fighters. Nope, fighters suck. And the four tanks. Oh, took out the airborne. Looks like I got two hits anyway. Yeah, two hits. There's the third one. So two hits, so it's over. And here's the two fighters in response. Three and the seven, so I lose one more. So... I don't even need to do that, so I lose this. Air transport dies too. His two fighters die. So 
So we take Romania with four tanks. We take, take that off and we can put a Russian flag on there. Right there. And then it's a plus three for Russia, down three for Germany. So I got four tanks, one infantry, one, whoops, advanced artillery that goes in there. Um, Two motorized will go in there. And two cavalry will also go into Romania and the two Katushas. We'll go there as well. So My three fighters, or two fighters in the tactical, will move to let's move them to southern Ukraine. No, let's put them in Kiev. They're going to Kiev right here. Okay. Do I have any more? I think that's it. Let's do non-combat. So let's start over here. We take one cavalry. He'll go one, two into Cheetah. One cavalry and one militia will go into a Mur. The airborne will go one, two, pick up this guy, three, four, five, six, seven, the Saratov. Because we have long range aircraft, so we get to go seven. Okay. Calvary out of Nova Brisk. We'll go one, two, to you know this long name that's upside down. Um, somebody brought up the fact is I'm not sure that CCP and uh, Russians cannot share uh, territories. If they cannot, they will go back to Rihi. Um, if they can, they'll stay there. I do not know. I thought they were the same fraction and same, can use the same zone. Okay, over here. We are going to put on this card that is in Lebowski. We're going to march over two infantry from northern Belarusia. Uh, three cavalry are coming over. Three tanks are moving over to Lebowski. Light tank and an eight eight gun. Um. Two infantry are moving south to northern Belarusia out of Leningrad. Okay, this infantry from Oral Curse is moving to southern Belarusia. This tank is moving to eastern Ukraine from Moscow. One, two. Three cavalry moving to southern Belarusia. Infantry is moving to Oral Curse. Um, the 
Did I move everybody almost? Almost practically moved everybody on this board. Um, I think that's about it. Now, I did build a railroad, and I'm not sure if I told you, but it is going from northern Belarusia into Lebowski. So now I have a railroad that's going from all of Europe or all of uh, Russia into Lebowski or northern Belarusia to Lebowski. So I do have one that's connecting all the way over. Going into um, northern Belarusia's to Calvary in my minor complex there. Okay, into Leningrad to infantry or Vance artillery to Katusha's. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and two cavalry also going into Leningrad. So that's my eight units which was the tank, two Katusha's, two cavalry, advanced artillery, and two infantry. Two cavalry was placed at this minor complex in northern Belarusia. Okay. Three militia are going to Kiev. Right there. Uh, in Moscow, right here going to be my fighter, advance artillery, and no, this guy's not moving out. I did that wrong. He's not moving over, of course. He's staying put, so he can be upgraded to the motorized. That's what I was doing. It's getting to be a truck. Okay, and my International Brigade guy is going there. And this guy down in Transcaucasia, I probably butchered it again, is going to be upgraded to an infantry. Um, place units for the CCP. They're getting their two, so they get two more chips. Um, Artillery is now up to three, and the AA is up to two. Okay. Um, here's a recruitment roll. I got to have a four less. Nine. So they'll end up with their turn with eight dollars. Woo! No, they'll end up with four plus two, plus two. So they have another eight coming. Yep, so they stay put. Okay, let's do wartime economy for the Russians. Seven, well, that's average. So let's do the math here. 57 plus two. Two from the Americans, if they still let us have it, plus three for our bonuses. That will get us the 63 plus the seven wartime economy. So we're up to 70 now. Okay, so let's count this out. 20, 40, 50... 60, 70. No, that's only 40, 60, 70. Okay. The Soviet Union will end up with 70 IPP. Okay, and we'll turn it over to Japan with the veteran in Operation Torchlight. To see if he can turn his fortunes away around or maybe not. We have to wait and see. 
Um, this fighting Irish? Oh, thank you. <laughs>